everybody, I'm Anthony and welcome to Programming with Anthony. In my last video I talked about how to become a better developer and the number one skill that I think every developer needs which is learning how to learn. Um, I got a lot of positive feedback about the video but a couple dissenting opinions and one of which on Reddit initially when I read it I felt that they this person perhaps had missed the point but the more I thought about it the more I think I really need to reply so that's why I'm creating this video Unfortunately, the post doesn't exist online because the poster deleted it. Um, but I'll post the body of the content underneath this video in the description. But I'd like to read it here because I think it's very important. I think the biggest problem people starting out have is a lack of knowing where to begin at all. What should I learn first? What best prepares me for learning what to learn? Do I learn straight PHP? Should I focus on object-oriented programming? Do I use a CMS? Which one? Do I use a framework? Which one? I think these are very important questions to ask. I think it's, um, they're good questions, but I also think they're misleading. Um, and the reason I say that I think they're misleading is I think it shifts the focus away from learning and more towards learning the right thing. And I'm here basically to say there is no right way to learn. Um, the way I learned was through trial and error. There's no right way uh, that you can actually sit down and say, well, if you learn these four things, you're going to become a better developer than if you learn these other four. I think you become a good developer by not worrying about what's the right thing to learn and learning a lot and finding what uh, interests you and what piques your interests. Because if you're interested in what you're learning and um, you can get a passion for it, you're going to have a better job than if and a better uh, time actually and learn more and become more productive than if you focus on what some random people on the internet say is the right way to learn or is the right thing to learn or is the right thing to focus on. Um, you know, there's a great, great, great webcomic which I'll link in the description here as well from Abtruse Goose which talks about how to learn C++ in 21 days. And the, the point of it is the guy winds up spending 40,000 days inventing a time machine and age reversing potion and going back in time and killing himself at 21 years uh, 21 days because that's the only real way to learn programming in 21 days um, it's a fantastic comic I suggest you all look at it but I think the reason I bring that up is I, I firmly believe that applies here there's no shortcut to learning how to become a good developer um, it, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of trial and error you know don't be afraid of failure Failure is a wonderful thing, um, you know, and I think it's something that a lot of new people coming into development, and a lot of senior people too, to be fair, they're afraid of trying something and screwing up. They're afraid of doing the wrong thing or trying the wrong thing, and, you know, I think it's crazy. Failure is a very good thing. If you're never failing, you're never pushing your capabilities. Don't worry about, well, which framework should I learn? Try a couple. See what you like. Spend the next three to six months working with one. And even if it turns out to be one that, personally, I wouldn't like, who cares? If you learn it and you like it, then you can eventually figure out, hey, wait a minute, you don't like this one? Why don't you like it? Discuss. And now you have a frame of reference for that discussion. Whereas if I say, hey, I like Symphony over Cake PHP. I like Symphony 2 instead of Cake PHP. If I tell you, you you're better off learning Symphony instead of Cake, there's no context for that. So now when your boss comes to you and says, well, why are you using Symphony? Well, I don't know, some random guy who makes videos online said to use Symphony instead of Cake. Well, that's not good. That sucks. That's a bad justification. Instead, if you say, well, you know what? I picked up and I ran with Cake and I, I know Cake then even though there may be actual negative reasons, and I may have negative reasons to be able to give you on why P uh, Symphony is better than Cake, if you're better at Cake, it's better that you use Cake. And if you like it better, it's better that you do that. And again, I, I don't want to um, sound like I'm disparaging Cake and promoting Symphony here, because uh, you, know, you can replace those two with names, you can swap them around, it doesn't really matter. Um, the point being, don't focus on doing the right thing. Focus on what you're passionate about and finding your passion. Focus on doing something and not worrying about failing at it or doing the wrong thing. You know, if you, the more experience that you get and the more things you try and the more things that you fail at, the better you're going to be. 
It's a weird way of looking at things, but it really, really does work. And don't be afraid of doing the wrong thing at all.